Hello and good morning. I'm going to show you today how to use the wood frame action set that you have purchased at my website. And in order to do so, let's go to Photoshop and let's go to the window menu and actions. And then on the upper right corner of this action panel, you will find that there's a little arrow, click on that one and then select load actions. And you just need to locate the file that you have received through your email that is called woodframe.atn. Double click on the file, select or click open. And now the set will be loaded into your actions panel. If I open the set, you will see that you have 10 different actions already here. The first nine are going to give you preset sizes for your frames and mat boards. Uh, they are going to create single frames single mat boards. So we will start uh, the tutorial today using one of those actions. The first thing that we always need to do, uh, of course, I'm going to just open my uh, a file. In this case, I'm going to open this sample image that I have right here. And I will put it right here in the middle and I will move my actions right here to the side so you can see what's going on as we move around uh, the, the action sets. The first thing that you need to do all the time is simply select which is going to be the color of your mat, of, of the mat board. In this case, uh, I'm going to just choose the foreground color and you can go directly into the image. Most of the time you can select a color that is, you know, something similar to the file that you are working on. So I will just click on my image and select some yellow color like that. And I will click OK one more time because they are going to just make one single uh, mat board you only need to select the foreground color and that's it. So then choose just simply what do you want to do. For example, here I'm going to just choose to, to make a white frame with a narrow mat. You just select that particular action and then click the play button on the bottom. Photoshop will do the rest. Photoshop will do, as you can see, will start creating a narrow mat using the color that you have chosen as your foreground color. And then it will start creating the frame around it and if you just give it a second it will just finish up and it will tell you it's ready now this is ready see how nice it is that you have on the mat board the texturized uh, surface and you have your frame uh, and this is the wide frame again with a narrow mat so this action is run is finished uh, one of the things that I want to tell you is that every time that you run an action, you will get different wood frames because uh, the process uses a random filter that it will allow you to, to have all the time different grain, different ref uh, you know, um, reflectability. So you will have different highlights and shadows in, in these areas of the frame, the top, the bottom, the side ones. Uh, each one is done individually so uh, even though you run again the action several times you will never achieve an effect that is exactly the same which is really great because it's like going to a store and buying 10 different wood frames that are not painted so you can see the grain and all of them are going to look different so it's exactly the same purpose of this this particular setting okay so i run the wide frame narrow mat action right here if I go to the file menu and then revert, I'm going to start from zero. And then let me just show you a narrow frame, a narrow mat. So you can see just the difference. So um, I will just select a different uh, color from my foreground color. And uh, let's select kind of a reddish color right here or purple color. And then let's just run the action. And this is going to be similar to the other one, but of course the width of the frame now is going to be narrow instead of being wide as we had before. The process is exactly the same. Now you have it, this is done. So the first nine actions that I have included on your set are preset actions, are very simple actions. You don't have to deal with anything except just selecting the image and then selecting the color that you want for your inner uh, mat board or the only mat board in this case, okay? so. One more time, I'm going to just do a revert so I can have my image ready to uh, show you the most powerful action that I have included on this set, which is the bottom one, the custom frame and mat. 
this particular action, it will, uh, it will create a double mat and two different frames. So as we chose the foreground color for the mat board in the other action, in this case, we need to choose two colors because we're going to have two different mat boards. So the inner mat board that we're going to create first, that is going to be using what is the background color and the outer mat board is going to be using the foreground color. So let's begin by choosing then another color for my background color. So then we have something to play with. Um, right now I'm going to choose uh, again, something similar to the yellow that I have on my image, but I will go darker because I want to just show you how beautiful this looks. So I'm going to choose a darker color for my background color, which is going to be my inner mat, and a lighter color for my foreground color. So I'm going to just choose something probably like here. So you can do the thing that you like the most. This is just a personal preference, but um, again, you just need to use two different colors because we are going to create two different map boards. And now you will need to input also different values. And I will go through the values in a second in, in the, in the, in, uh, when we are running this action. The only thing that you need to know is these values are always in pixels and they need to be exactly the same, the width and the height, because otherwise your frame will look uneven. It will not look really nice if you select different sizes for the width and the height. So let's run the actions. Again, I will just select the action and I'm going to move my image right here away from the actions panel. So as we go, you will see how the action is creating the different pieces of your frame. So once, uh, right now I have selected the action again, just click the play button. And now the first thing that we need to do is just set what is called the positive offset space. And this is just simply the space that you want to have between the image and the first mat board. Uh, usually it's a minimum value of four, but you can do any, any value. I will click continue in order to be able to set these values. The default setting right here is 40. You can leave it at 40. Uh, you can change it. La, if, just to, to go through this tutorial, I will leave it at the default setting, which is 40, and I will click OK. If you can see, now Photoshop has created a 40 uh, pixel increase in size in the width and the height. So technically it's not 40 on each side, it's only 20 pixels. This is perfectly fine. Now the next setting that you are going to set is what is going to be the inner mat size. And remember the inner mat size color is your background color. So I will go click continue and I will choose, I like to choose for this particular one, a white inner mat. So I'm going to just choose 120 pixels. Remember, you need to be in pixels. You don't have to put inches. Otherwise, Photoshop will just explode because it's going to be a really, really large file. So just be sure that you have pixels in, in all these windows and you select the same value right here. I will click OK. And uh, the next setting that I need to set is what is going to be now the size of my outer mat board. Uh, I will click OK or continue. And then I want a narrow mat board in this case. So I will go maybe 60 pixels. The next value that I need to input in my action is what is going to be now the size, the first frame, the wood frame, what is going to be the size. So I want to have a narrow inner frame and a wider outer frame. So in order to do so, I'm going to just click OK and let's say 40 pixels for my first frame. I will click OK and now Photoshop will run the action and it will start making each piece of the, of the frame, the upper part, the bottom part, the left and the right. So while it's doing that, um, <clears throat> let me tell you that again, um, this is a very powerful action. As you can see right now, one of the most beautiful areas of this action is that you can set now the hue and saturation value for this particular frame. I will click continue and now Photoshop will give you this a window that is your, your, your regular hue saturation um, win, window. And now you can choose what is going to be the, the, the hue, or if you want to have this frame more saturated or less saturated, it's up to you completely what do you want to do. Extreme cases, if you go really dark or really bright, you may lose the grain of the frame and probably lose a little bit of the, 
of, of the actual purpose of having a wood frame. But it's perfectly up to you because maybe this will look like if it's a painted frame. So the one suggestion that I have for you is that if you like some particular color uh, in this area, just memorize the numbers. So for example, I will leave it like this. I will leave it, uh, well, let's, let's, let's change the hue a little bit more. Let's, let's go a little bit more here probably. And let's go more saturated. Let's go like that. So it's about minus five. Well, in fact, I will just leave it here at zero, 40 and 40, just to remember the numbers. Because since you're going to create a second frame, you may want to have that second outer frame with the same tonality as this inner frame. So that's why if you choose something that you like really well, just write down the numbers so you can just add them to the action at the end. So I will click OK. So now I have 0, 40, and 40. And I will remember that for the second part of my uh, action. The action at, at this point is telling you that it has created a single frame. You can stop and this image is ready to be saved as because it's already flattened and it's ready to go. But in this case, since we want to make the second frame, I'm going to just click continue and it will, and it will tell me now that I need to set what is going to be the size of that outer frame. If I click continue one more time, remember I told you I want to make a narrow frame and a really wide outer frame. So for the outer frame, I'm going to choose probably 120 pixels on both. I will click OK. And now I will let Photoshop again run these actions. Uh, depending on the processor that you have in your computer, depending on the Photoshop version that you have, it may run slower or faster than my video right here. I have used these actions in Photoshop CS and probably CS. Uh, it takes maybe four times more time than uh, just a newer Photoshop CS4, CS5, or maybe even CS, CS6. So uh, right now it's telling me again that I can set the hue saturation value for this outer frame. If I click continue, I had 40, 40, and zero, as I remember from my last uh, time. So give or take 40, 40, uh, it was not 40, 40. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so let me choose a color that I like, maybe there. Yeah, I think that looks really fine. Okay, and as I'm telling you, you just need to write down uh, the, the, the numbers because otherwise they may look uh, different, but if it's fine, then it's perfectly okay. So I will click okay right now and my action is finished. And as, as you can see, we have created two different mat boards, again, the inner mat board runs with your background color. The outer mat board, it will be with the color of your foreground color. And those are the two only things that you need to choose before you run the action. Then the action will allow you to set your different sizes for the, for the mat boards and the frames. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will tell you uh, more things in, the, in, in other videos that I will post uh, as well. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.